Okay, we've got it all put together now, and I'm going to turn everything on, let you see how loud it is, and basically this is just going to be a leak check. I've already checked it a couple times. I think we've got everything working right now, and we're just going to let it sit there and run for a minute. First thing I want to do is turn on the pump. And you can tell the pump is really quite quiet. And the way this works, there's a pump inside the reservoir that comes out the top with the tube. And this goes to the laser tube. And right now I just have the orange hose looping around and coming back in to simulate the laser tube. But it's going to come back in this side, goes through this radiator, over to the other radiator, through it and back in near the bottom of the reservoir tank. One thing about this reservoir tank is kind of nice. It just has a little flip up top where I can add water if I need to. And eventually we're going to put in the, we're going to put the uh, antifreeze in there so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, but for right now we're just testing with water. So we'll just snap that right back down. And like I said, it's nice and quiet. Next thing I want to do is turn on the fans for the two radiators. Right now we just got this going to a, a computer 12 volt power supply. And there's both fans going. Again, right now they're very quiet, but I do have them turned down as low as they go. These come with a, a rheostat on each one so that you can uh, speed them up, slow them down as you want. I'm going to do one of them. And then I'll bring the other one up all the way. So as you can see, it is working. It's got, uh, doesn't appear to have any leaks right now. And the fans are working on the variable resistors. I do need to make a plate over here that will show the min and max, uh, just to dress it up a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to have to find out exactly where this is going to be installed or where we're going to keep it all the time and uh, and hook up the plumbing directly to the tube. Again, this is uh, going into the tube and return from the tube. I do have a thermometer set up now right uh, at the exit of the tube uh, before it's going to get to this so that we can tell what our outbound temperature is. And uh, I've got one gallon capacity right now plus what's in the in the system. I believe that's going to be adequate because of the cooling, um, but we'll find out. So that's it for right now.